Hello everybody, I'm Sat18. Welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2, the Eastern Empires. I'm still, uh, I'm currently Duke Zhang Hui Shen. Currently still trying to take over this area. Only two living family members. Me and my daughter. That's it. I'm trying to build up enough piety to go murder some people. I can choose a Taoist school after I get 50. That's pretty cool. You can borrow money from the Jewish money lenders even out here. That's cool. Yeah, let's uh, find a court physician. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't wanna, really want to be a poet. Well, uh, Freeman bring to my court. Uh, trade value, written new size. Silk Road trade post, trade value plus 30, trade route wealth plus 1. Probably this one is the better deal. So let's go with that. Silk Road trade post. Okay, Yushi Huang has arrived. Huang Yushi, I see. Alright, whatever. Sorry, I repeat things. Some of you know that, some of you don't. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Can I I can't really do anything else yet. My armies will crush the opposition, yes. Who will face me? Plus one marshal. Alright, that's not bad. I like how I keep on getting that that um, event. It's a good event. Recently sent a eunuch. So I can only send one eunuch every twenty years. I can only send uh, gifts in three uh, 600 gold piece increments. That's kind of annoying. I'm already a tribute. I can send a concubine. But uh, he doesn't want a concubine. Um, I don't have a commander who has 12 or more. I don't have a high quality artifact that's not cursed. And uh, yeah, my procedures are already really high. With 750, what would that be able to get me? Um, all the way up to a strategist, which is not bad. Alright, increased prestige. Coolness. Hard training is paying off, plus one marshal. It's getting good. I'm getting good. Mm-hmm. So currently he's fighting a revolt. Hmm. Let's see. There or there? That one right there looks like the better um, of the two. Kumtag. Declare war over Kumtag. Lose 50 piety and 150 gold. In the opinion of all landed characters of the Menashean religion in your realm, and his realm, declare, uh, don't like me because I declared an unjust war. But if I win, I take over the county and uh, he gets a claim on that county. It's not bad. Hopefully I win. I should, in theory, win. Okay, let's um, let's roll. Yeah, no, you're gonna want to get the hell out of here, man.
News from China, Chinese civil war has come to an abrupt end. The emperor has utterly crushed the rebel army in Chengdu, um, ending the long years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances between loyalists, rabble-rousing monks, dynastic pretenders, and, overly ambition and an overly ambitious governor. Things are slowly returning to normal in the mid Middle Kingdom, and the Silk Road is safe once again. Good, I could use some new silk clothes. So, that um, puts the Civil War at an end. Recent news, various factions of uh, rebel factions have uh, rised up. One of them is led by Wug, in charge of the Kaitan tribe. Descending from the mountains, wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze. Though the throughout the region, people are praying to deliver us from, sa hostile, from safety of the hostile raiders. Alright, so it's stable, currently, and open. That's good. I think with that event, that means there's going to be some raiders along here somewhere. Don't know where. I just know that there will probably be raiders somewhere. Katura. He's going all the way down there to siege down their lands. I'm fine with this. Let's uh, go in here. I have a marshal. He's a commander. Nope. Not going to get a commander in there. Let's go train there. That'll be fine. I'm going to keep this, by the way, when I take it. Mm-hmm. There's a trade post on the Silk Road. Doesn't have any major upgrades on it yet. Alright, should be uh, pretty simple though. Alright, took that over. Alright, so I'm right. He's right there currently. Alright, nice. News from China, rumors of the mili uh, military might of the Tengan Empire is proving a forceful diplomatic tool. After a brief negotiation with Kutan, the Tenacious, he's peacefully agreed to become a tribute. So this guy is now a tributary under the Western Emp uh, Protectorate. <coughs> Which I'm fine with. I like how he summoned up an army to fight against me. Those are vent spawn troops that he, uh, since he's a tribute, he uh, used this. Which must have been a bug of some sort because, yeah, I'm also under the protectorate. And I'm gonna take over his, uh, yeah. He's gonna go down and meet with the these armies right here, the Woog host. That ain't good. And that's that, so offer peace and force demands. Yep. I can revoke this, but uh, they won't like it. Alright, so I'm going to give you a gift, and then I'm going to demand you convert to Taoist. Of course he accepts, and I own this. I can drop my armies now. Alright, yep, yeah, come along. Whatever, that works. Hi, Chief Surma of Kasho. Yep. That'll be cool. And, uh, you gonna pay your 10 gold? Okay, good. Hmm. That was cool. Alright, so he's currently attacking, uh, to make someone a tribute. Alright, the Chief Minister of Minyak has bribed and threatened his way into a uh, possible claim. So he has a claim on me now. 
Oh, I dare you to use it. Go ahead. Make my day. You have, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seek out um, an opponent who will face me. Alright, I win. Gives me another plus two. I'm liking that event. It's a good one. Slow gaining um, traction over here. So that's annoying, but I mean, I can extort a tribute from him, though. Currently, I control 33% of the kingdom. He has the rest of it. So he could theoretically form the kingdom of Shu. It'd be a mistake, but it could. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sorry, I had to move my... Um, no, what's it called around? My phone, that's the word. Make sure it doesn't turn off. Hmm, nice. Nothing really I can do there. Um, almost. Treasurer, I will get you in there. Give me money. 49. 42. Stay off my land. saying you no gotta get the uh gotta get the number up man he's gonna go straight for that you must uh, attempt to save him <clears throat> why am i paying this little bastard make my crown focus here could establish a tributary state or I could if I wasn't uh, not as big as him wow that is a massive kingdom over here actually a kingdom too I could uh, use someone to train with sure and I can upgrade something over here any of this I'll upgrade in military organization Construction. Castle infrastructure. I will use the claim. So I got that. Now I'll get this. The county of Dalinga. I have a claim on it, so guess what? It is mine. I can get up to 4,000 troops. That's not bad. Very not bad. Let's just go straight in here. Very nice. You lot go over here. Alright, and then you lot are going to go over here. Well, I mean... You're going to stop them, then you're going to go over there, then you're going to go over there, and then you're going to go over there. Yep. Alright, so you're going to go there. Cool. Wounded. Why am I leading battles? Come on. I'll lead that. <laughs> That's what I'll lead. The siege. And then I'm gonna just carpet siege everything. I know that's not how it works. 
whatever. I will crush all my opponents, yes. Right, who will face me? Oh, you win, but still, worth it. Not bad, I'm winning this siege very quickly. No, no. Uh, yeah, like I said, no, no. Let's go over here. Legalism, increase that. Now I need to pass that law, which I can in one year. Um, Tongue of a Famous Holy Man. That's cool. There. And let's go back up here. Delling Ha. And... Yeah. Very nice. I only have the one artifact now. Tongue of a famous holy man. It once spoke many eloquent truths. Gives me plus one diplomacy. <laughs> it's weird though. Mm hmm. It's nice, I guess. Uh, religion. Not really a lot I can do there. Uh, a noble named Yang Sha says, uh, I implore you, grant me refuge. Okay. Was this some kind of reward on you or something? Secretly send a letter to the Emperor. Who likes me a lot, by the way. The wound is healed into a scar. I like that. After soon riding, um... The a grateful emissary arrives with several guards to escort him back to the Chinese Empire. You can't understand what they'll do to me. I'm sure it can't be that bad. He dies. <laughs> I say as he's dragged off to be executed. I gain 300 grace, which is very nice. Um, I need a lot more. Actually, I don't need a lot more. I could, uh, with a thousand, I could get an imperial marriage. But that requires um, an eligible, marriageable relative. I don't have one of them. I'll keep on saving up. Because if this guy for some reason manages to take over all of this, I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to need about 5,000 grace to request an invasion. Status quo of China's over. Popular uprisings have broken out. Trade between the Silk Road has uh, um, has been halved. And China will not be able to defend its tributary states. Unrest. 25%. Not a full civil war, though. Uh, that would cost a bit too much money. Yeah, he's going to lose these wars. Most of them are holy wars. Surma, pregnant again, you... Damn it, come on. A Buddhist uprising over here, if that's a thing. Hmm. Massive recruitment drive, that's cool. I have a lot of troops that I can summon. Eventually. <laughs> 5,000 troops. That's a lot for me, man. Anyways. I just don't really have anywhere to go with this. 
Alright, um, let's see. Being such an industrialist ruler has not gone unnoticed by the population of Yangguan. By paying the county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel appreciated. Yes, let's get some inspired peasantry, local building time, down. Let's, uh, I can't really build anything right now though. Uh, it's not a pretty sight how he handles a sword. I can only try to help him. But, I'll help him in the next episode. Thank you for all for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>